Hey YouTube, it's Natasha and welcome to my new channel. My first video is an introduction to my yard and my horses and a bit about my team, my horse box and my stables. So let's get started. And when you're gone, I feel incomplete. So if you want the truth, I just want to be part of your symphony. We hold me tight and not let go. Symphony. Like a love song on the radio. We hold me tight and not let go. Come and say hi. So this is my little star for the future. Um, as you can tell, his name's Freddy, um, but he will be known as Fireball in the competition arena. He's six years old and he is the cutest little thing in the world. Um, he's quite a bit smaller than all of my other horses. He's only about 16 hands. He's a little pocket rocket. He's got an amazing walk. His over track is like that, which for my test is so important. Um, and he's like a little bouncy ball in trot. He just kind of pings along. He's really Really exciting. I got him in November and he's owned by Christian who also owns Suki and owns JP as well. I'm incredibly lucky to have such amazing horses um, but yeah I'm really really excited for his future. We're gonna aim at going to the regionals and potentially the nationals. I'm gonna get my trainer Lisa Hopkins to compete him and ride him. I think like the, the biggest thing with Freddie is he loves fuss. He absolutely adores people. Um, he just wants cuddles the whole time. He's not fussy from who either. Um, literally, if you're a human being and you can give him kisses and cuddles, he will love you forever. And he also is a pretty good doer, actually. He does like his food too. Um, but we're still getting to know each other. Like I said, we didn't get him um, until November last year. So uh, it's still really, really early days, but he's got a really exciting future ahead of him. How many Freds? Good boy. So this is Suki, otherwise known as Suki St. James. She is nine years old, and as you can see, she's dropped dead gorgeous, albeit a little bit dirty today, because she's been out in the field. Um, I think if she was a human, I think she'd be like Miss World or something. She's dropped dead gorgeous. She's a, such a lovely person and really, really intelligent. She's a dream come true. She's a real girl's horse. She tries her absolute hardest every time I'm on her. Um, she was off last year, actually, because of an injury. She's had quite a while not completely off but just hacking and recuperating and then uh, we're going to aim and take her out at a few able-bodied competitions this year just to have a bit of fun with her and um, have a bit of a chilled out year which will be really nice for, for all of us after such a high pressure of uh, Rio last year it was a pretty intense year so it'll be nice to have a bit of a chilled out time for all of us. These are my amazing new stables, built by Prime Stables back in January. Um, and these are just gonna be for my horses. So we're gonna have Freddy in this one, JP was meant to be in the middle one and Suki in the bottom one with our own tack room at the bottom. Um, I absolutely love these stables. A, it gives us the independence because we are a livery yard and when we're coming up to competitions like Rio, the Worlds or the Europeans, obviously we're drug tested. So having everything away just gives us that little bit of independence. But what I love most about these stables is the fact that they are both double-sided so the horses can come in this way, but they can also come in from the other door on the other side. And that is leading to Suki's field. And then the plan is eventually that we're going to have some turnout pens out there as well. So if the weather's really, really bad and the fields are too boggy, both Freddy and if I get another one, they can go out in those pens and just have some time out. Kind of like going in the field, but without the grass. Yeah, these stables are so light and airy. I absolutely love them. They've got, all got rubber matting. They're just waiting for their first visitor. So this is our tack room. Um, it's 12 by 16 foot. And dad has made these 
fantastic cupboards to fit all of our stuff in. As you can see, we're still in the process of sorting everything out. So there's a little bit of a mess in here. Um, and I have so many rugs and so many numbers, it is unbelievable. But we've got these all kitted out um, with so much room in here. So each shelf and each cupboard are gonna have their own specific items in so obviously this is going to be boots and bandages and then under there is going to be my cyclosage rug um, and then in this one we're going to have all of my tack so some of it's already in there um, so i'm going to have my three saddles for the three horses and the three racks and then i've got a little bit for my whips there so all of my fairfax bridles and saddles can live in there and then on this one are all of the rugs. So we've got like three, oh, that handle's not on. Um, we've got three hooks up there. So all of the rugs for each horse can slide on. And then outside we've got the same. So if they come in and they're soaking wet, all of the rugs in the water can drain. Poppy, out the way, come on. Literally like my little shadow, aren't you? And then in the bottom one, that's just for more rugs and show stuff and um, just more shelving really for everything and a microwave when it's completely finished i'll definitely show you but it's going to look really really nice in here this is my favorite bit of kit this is daphne and i am totally in love with her me and my mum and dad worked so hard for such a long time to get her and we First of all, had a seven and a half ton lorry, which was absolutely amazing. Carried two horses and we used to stay away loads. But, um, but because we're in the low emission zone here, we needed something that was a little bit newer and that could carry a little bit more and would have a little bit more room. So this is probably the most important room down at the barn, which is where all of the liveries are. This tack room, uh, cups of tea, the most important bit the biscuit tin. We keep a lot of my trophies in here that I've won over the years. There's some more recent ones here that I've won in 2011, 2014. Um, most of them are from France. Probably the best one, um, my London 2012 trophies. Um, and then I've got some old school ones here. I've got my first ever trophy that I won when I was 10 years old on an RDA pony called Forrester. Um, so that's really special to me. Um, it really inspired me to go and follow my dreams pretty much. It's when I thought that actually maybe winning a gold medal one day would be possible. So I can remember actually just standing there having my picture taken with my sash around me and holding that cup and yeah, it brings back some amazing memories when I was literally like nine or 10 years old. So yeah, so many sashes in here that JP and I have won together and you know, so many amazing memories of what we've achieved together. And probably most of you know, but we lost JP tragically in February this year and it still breaks my heart even now to talk about it. So I won't talk about it too much, but um, we brought him in with a small cut on his back leg and it turned out that he had a bacterial infection um, and we lost him within about three days. He was just so, so special to me, a horse of a lifetime and, you know, to win 11 golds together and a silver medal, he really is. Oh, he's just so special. He's a part of the family and I will forever miss him. Um, I think about him every single day and I miss him so, so much. We've uh, actually had him cremated, so we're going to spread some of his ashes in his field and get him a rose bush um, like we did with my other horse, Woody, who we lost a couple of years ago. Get him a rose bush and put some of his ashes in there so if ever we do move from this farm, at least we can take him with me. Um, I'm going to get some jewellery made as well with some of his horse hair as well so that'll be really special as well but um, yeah got to look forward to the future and keep positive and I just really hope that someday in the future I can make him proud and win another few gold medals with Freddie or Suki or another horse um, that would be amazing to carry on his legacy and uh, make him proud in the future. 
So this is our little mountain pilgrim. He's been with us since he was six months old when he was first weaned from his mum. And it's a hard life being pilgrim. Um, but uh, he was brought by a livery and had this specially made stable. And when the livery left, she was going to sell him, but he was best friends with JP and they offered him to us. So how could we refuse this little face? He's so cute, but he thinks he's the biggest horse on the yard. He has got so much attitude. It looks like butter wouldn't melt in his little mouth, but my goodness, he has got so much attitude, way more than my horses have. Um, he used to be JP's best friend and go out with him in the field. Um, so when we lost JP, he had to find a new best friend. So now he's going out with Freddie and he's his best mate. And he is most definitely in charge of Freddie. He hates being groomed, but, um, but yeah, the yard wouldn't be the same without our little pilgrim. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the first video. I am enjoying some lovely Freddy kisses. Thanks, guys. Bye. I just want to be part of your symphony.